As we have said all day, we have met people who remind us what teachers do, how much they care, even in the face of terror. And I sat down with a first grade teacher at that school, Caitlin Roick. She heard gunfire, large windows exposed her classroom, so she managed to rush 15 small children into a tiny bathroom to try to save their lives. I put one of, one of my students on top of the um, toilet. Just I just knew we had to get in there. I was just telling them it's going to be OK. Uh, you're going to be all right. I, I had pulled a bookshelf before I closed the door in front of it. So it was completely, we were completely barricaded in. I turned the lights off. Did you tell them to be quiet? Did you oh, yes. worry about one of them? No, I told them, I told them to be quiet. I told them we had to be absolutely quiet um, because I was just so afraid that if he did come in and then he would hear us and then he would maybe just start shooting the door. So I said, no, we just have to be absolutely quiet. Um, and we have, I said, there are bad guys out there now. We need to wait for the good guys. I I just, I, I, I just, I wanted us to be okay. And I'm so, so saddened that there are people who, who in this situation are not okay. Um, and my heart, my heart goes out to anyone who knew them and was a part of their lives. I, can't, I just can't imagine. Did they cry? No, if they started crying, I would like take their face and say, it's going to be okay. Show me your smile. Like I really tried to like, ha you know, and one of my students was, you know, would say like things like, I know karate, so it's okay. I'll lead the way out. Like, they really said to you, we want to go home for Christmas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I just want to hug my mom or just, you know, things like that that were just, just heartbreaking, you know? And like in my mind, I mean, cause you're hearing, I've never been a part of something, obviously, anywhere near this traumatic. Um, and so I'm hearing the gunfire in the hallway, and I'm thinking in my mind, I, I'm the first classroom. Why isn't he coming? You know, I'm thinking, we're next. And, you know, and in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, as, as a six-year-old, seven-year-old, what, what are your thoughts? What are your, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking that I have to, to almost be their parent. Like, I have to tell them, you know. So I said to them, I said, I need you to know that I love you all very much and that it's going to be okay because I thought that was the last thing they were ever going to hear. I thought we were all going to die. Um, you know, and I don't know if that's okay, you know, teachers and, you know, but I wanted them to know someone loved them and I wanted them that to be one of the last things they heard. Uh, not, not the gunfire in the hallway. Uh, it's just so horrible. It's so horrible. Horrible, horrible. Um, How did you know you were going to be okay? What happened? I didn't. Um, what finally happened was the gunfire stopped. The gunfire wasn't um, that long, um, so that stopped. But I, st I said, no, we're not going right. anywhere. We're right. staying here um, until someone good comes in. Um, sorry, gets us out. So eventually, what happened was the police came and started knocking. Um, and obviously, I mean, I was completely beside myself. And I said, I don't, I don't believe you. Um, you need to put your badges under the door. Um, so they put their badges under the door. I said, if you're really a police officer, then you would have a way to get in here. You would have a key, or you would have gotten it from the jan. If everything's okay now, you would have found the keys. So he had the keys, and he found the right one, and he unlocked the door. And then they brought us out to the um, firehouse to meet up with the rest of um, the teachers and students, waiting for parents to come and pick them up. <sighs> I think there are a lot of people who wish that want all the teachers to know how much it means to them, how much they care about their children. Mm -hmm. How could you not? Thank you, know. you. Thank you. And she only spoke, she said, because she wants us to know this is a school of teachers who care so much about each other and their students. She wanted to pay tribute to all of them tonight, and she is praying for all those who are grieving.